the Boston Trucker with you. Time to do some sanding. Got a little bit of light rain, 34 degrees. Supposed to drop below freezing. You get one to three inches of snow. Hopefully we can just burn it off and don't have to put on the plows. Trucker here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. driven it since last winter. Free trip. Checking all the lights. Ready to go. Slow. And then I heard something. A 
like a dripping sound. So I shut the pump off right away. Pulled in, put it in park, looked underneath, hydraulic oil coming out the bottom. Yeah, awesome. Sucks. Everybody put drop the blade at the plow. Ugh. Hopefully it's a Hopefully it's a quick fix and a loose fitting. Big blue hydraulic line. Hopefully we have a spare line. Well, you got to be ready to adapt. Kenworth's in the shop. I'm in a Ford F-350 Foreman's truck. son doesn't want to miss any classes tomorrow so don't worry kid I got you covered <laughs> no, actually he doesn't want to miss any classes on it by myself Going around and around and around plowing in a pickup trucks easy Almost like driving a, I don't know, like driving a smart car. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Put the plow down and go. A supervisor in this foreman's pickup truck. Is this what it's like? Yeah, it's like a driving around. Driving people around people think I'm important and stuff. Yeah, you are important. Oh, you thanks. Important. How's it look? No, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. What else we got? No, no. That's it? Um, everybody's done except for Dante and everybody. And everybody's heading home. You just gotta clean your windshield off. I'm gonna drive really fast. I hope maybe it's gonna blow off. Okay. All right. That if drive fast or stop and stop suddenly. Yeah. What's Keith doing? Just that bottom lot? I already did that lot. He's probably just buttoning it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Michael, I'll head you back. did a great job. Thank you, Tony. You did pretty good too. I did. I'm, I'm doing much you're, you're starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, I'm much better. All right, yeah, we'll bye. see you, Tony. Get home and get some sleep after I clear off my driveway. And uh, do some trucking in the morning. Have a good night. All right. It's that time of year. I hate to do it on such a beautiful day. The sun's coming out. The roads will probably dry up eventually. But I'm gonna coat my aluminum with some WD-40. WD-40 protects the aluminum from getting all pitted and ruined. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit, best I can. Because when you hit it with the WD-40, wherever the uh, water rivers are, that won't get hit. So it's best to have the tanks, to do it when the tanks are dry in the wheels. Create 
create a nice barrier between the aluminum and the salty roads. This is killing me more than it's killing you. also going to wiring harnesses on your frame well that plan changed look at my tanks with a WD-40 on it you can't even tell they still look shiny I'm heading out in the max sander to go salt a parking lot we maintain 30 miles away from here there's nothing I'd rather do than bobtail in a spring ride single axle Mac 30 miles out 30 miles back. at least we'll be half loaded on the way out there spin her out if there's any left over when we get back. how to do this. Unload. Pump on first. Should be unloading. I'm gonna bump the idle up. Running the T800 today. Gonna give it a ticket for a test drive. Firing up the old 6NZ Caterpillar. Already did a pre trip. We're gonna do some trucking today. today they did some transmission work on it and I'm gonna take it for a ride 
see how it's running. Then later on, we might take it to the alignment shop. Needs an alignment. They're gonna do a few other things to it. So that's what's going on today. So far, I haven't even driven my truck this week. Except just behind the yard. Dumped her out. Got to go get a load of sand. The nose has a little bit of, a little bit of snow and a little bit of material. Gonna have them bang it out a little bit, clean it up. Don't want to contaminate sand with any materials. When it's icy like this, and you pull forward from the pile, you can't get a really good slam with the tailgate sometimes. Now we're empty. Now we go get sand. More material, more material in there than I thought. It's under the snow.
Wednesday. Got to wear my Allen's trucking hat. You know why? Because on Wednesdays, the Allen's boys, Jackson and Luke, the podcast comes out on Wednesdays. New episode. Steady at the wheel. I told you about it. I'm excited. Got to gotta represent Steady at the Wheel podcast. Let's go. Get a pointer east. Definitely having some transmission issues. They asked me to go take it for a ride today. Figure out what gears are having issues. And there's about four of them. It's popping out of gear. The stick isn't physically popping out of gear. When you split it, all of a sudden you're out of gear. You gotta pop the throttle to get it back in. So that's gonna need some work. Other than that, it's waiting on my ride. Teddy should be here any second. He's always right behind me by five seconds. So he'll be pulling in here. And let's go jump on the W900 and uh, wait for the snow to come. All right. <laughs> you learned from me. Yeah. You learned from me. That's right. You dropping a gear there? I think your hand drop down. You <laughs> I like to pretend. If I can pretend. That whatever gets down. you through the day, buddy. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you can let me out right about here. I'll be good. I'll leave you. I'll leave you right with Eddie. Teddy's jumping in the sander. No sense getting my truck dirty. This is already dirty and warmed up, ready to go. I'll just jump in his. than the automatic and the Western Star. Hope Andrew doesn't watch this video. It's just at least the truck, you can hear it shifting and it feels like it's shifting in here. The Allison, it's like driving a car. It's so quiet and boring. Don't get me wrong, it's boring too, but it's not as boring. I don't want to offend anybody. It does pull pretty good too.
series with automatics, you know, for US Express and Variant and all those companies. And I, I always just feel like the, not having the gear shift takes a lot of the trucker element out of the truck. I'm not saying, listen, some people, they don't have a choice. They're gonna drive automatics and that's what the company gets them. And obviously it must be a great job to drive for a company like that, that you would choose to drive an automatic. But I just don't want people thinking I'm putting down people who drive automatics, because I'm not. It's not for me. I mean, someday I might have to drive one. But uh, it'll be in my choosing. I'm not going to be told I have to drive one. But this, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Compared to the Allison. Allison, forget it. Andrew, don't watch this video. I'm sorry. He knows. He hates it. He hates the Allison. Absolutely hates it. But he's young and uh, it's a good job. I'm not hating this, to be honest with you. I have driven this truck a bunch of times too, and I usually really hate it. It's an ugly word. I dislike it a lot. I'm not, I'm not disliking it too I I don't like it, but it was nice to eat my lunch while I drove. It's definitely nice. I'm rambling on. None of this is going to make it in the video anyways. Lost in my thoughts. I don't have that many. <laughs> a lot of times I just record myself talking to myself and most of the stuff doesn't even make it in the video. It's boring, right? Who would want to see this? My old trailer. My old trailer, this one drops down. Oh, it's so much better than mine. I miss that. It's the little things I miss. That thing's filthy. My truck's still clean from last week. <laughs> My goal is to drive every truck in the fleet except mine this week. So far, it's looking good. All right, how do we do this? Let me see. I need the PTO. I drop the airbags first. Fifth wheel slide airbag. So you can make you can make a mistake here. If you don't pay attention. Airbags. PTO. I already brought the tarp in. Open the door. I think the only thing left is to put it in the air. Look at that. 
It works. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Release my brakes. Pull down my handbrake. Now we're good to go. Stuff on the gas. And, uh, oops, I said gas. I meant the throttle. Raise it up a little faster. There we go. Where do we gotta go next? Let's pull out the old map. That's really the only way to do it. I got a wall fan. Wall fan. So I'll take route two. I jump on 128.95 South here. We'll get off of Totten Pond Road, 27A. We'll take Totten Pond Road to the end. We'll make a right turn on Lexington Street. Can't go this way with the truck. We'll get on Lexington Route 20, make a left and a quick right on Elm. Cross here to River Street, and our yard is about a half a mile down. Why does the map end? Oh, there's two pages. I knew that. River Street, and our yard is right, right there. Right there. Right at the uh, Newton and Willow. That's the way we're going to go. For all you people playing at home and don't know how to read a map. Truck's been cleaned since last week. Sprayed it with WD-40 for absolutely nothing. I can't even. I can't even believe it. I sprayed it with W-40 yesterday and then jumped in the sander. Going crazy. Oh, and this is an interior. This is much. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I miss this. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we play. Tomorrow is the day. Get back in my truck and do some hauling. Tomorrow morning it's supposed to be raining till about 8 o'clock. Then it'll be dirty like everybody else. That'll help. dirty this morning we got two more hours of rain and then sunshine next two days it's gonna hit 50 degrees today dump I'm gonna go get sand I got up I got a bad ground somewhere it needs to be looked at when my lights are off they go in blinky blinky with all the lights off when all the lights are on they all work fine except for the ABS light Dirty, dirty, dirty. And where I'm going, it's gonna be even wetter and saltier. Feels good to be back in my truck though.
out here today. Gonna be some melting going on. One day, and tomorrow it's gonna be cold, the rest of the weekend. Give it a once over before I leave here. It's a long ride back. Long ride back for us, anyways. A lot of hills, traffic. I like to kick the tires. Quick visual inspection and get on out. WD-40 off, watch. See 
ya. It leaves a layer of film between the rims, the aluminum, and the salt and corrosion. Everything sticks to it. That's why these look a little darker than they really would be on a normally normally rainy day like I had today. Move over to the tanks. I'll show you on the tanks real quick. Then I gotta get back to washing. I gotta put this down. The tanks didn't even get that hit that hard today with the salt. But I WD-40 these things, what, two, three days ago? Anyways, you get the picture. And I get back to work. Everybody's got their truck clean today. Nobody has to be told to wash the trucks around here. Beautiful morning. 28 degrees. Ground still frozen. Not for long, it's gonna get sloppy. comedian was in Boston. Jessica Kirsten. K-A-R K-I-R-S-O-N. Man, she's funny. I didn't get home till like 11, 11 30 last night. Couldn't fall asleep. Two five hour energies in and a diet Pepsi. I'm feeling good though. Let's put some spray wax on the tractor. been a good week once again every week I say this I'm not even sure what I did this week I have to go back and watch the video because there's really no rhyme or reason the way I make these videos I just I got a free hand I put my camera in the in one hand I hit record record what I'm doing if I got a video I got a video usually I put some kind of hodgepodge video together you guys seem to enjoy it I appreciate it some people put a lot of thought behind their videos. I'm embarrassed to say I don't. There's no like theme. Sometimes it ends up being a theme, but there's really no theme to what I do. It's probably why I don't have a big channel like a lot of other people. And that's okay. As long as you're watching, you and the five other people that watch this video, that'll make me happy. Truck is clean. Aluminum's decent from here. Weather next week looks good. Maybe a little bit of snow on Wednesday. Maybe a salting event. It's the most mild winter that I can remember so far. And that's it. And then I'm going on vacation in February. Two weeks. Middle of February. Big trip. Big trip. Been canceled twice because of the pandemic. So, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, which I'm sure you have, why wouldn't you? It's free. Nothing's going to happen to you. I'm not going to, like, uh, hockey and China. You know what that means, right? It's Italian. Uh, good Shabbos. 
If you know what that means, that's also Italian. Good yuntif, also Italian. You guys gotta learn these Italian words I use. And uh, don't be a schmuck. That's, these are all code words. <laughs> oh man, see, maybe this is a video. Maybe this is the theme of my video, what an idiot I am. All right, there goes Teddy. Bye Teddy, say bye Teddy. Bye. Teddy's greasing, cause he's old school. We have people that do that. But Teddy doesn't trust them to grease his truck. I trust them. Why would why wouldn't they hire people that are competent to do that, right? That's what I say, anyways. All right, uh, we'll catch you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. You talking to me? Of course, it's shiny for Monday. Listen to him. It's going to rain Sunday night into Monday. He wishes it would rain Sunday night into Monday. I already checked the weather. It's probably right, though. It always does. All right, Boston Trucker, Peace and Grease. Catch me at Louisville. If you ever made plans to go to Louisville, I think I'll be there at Matt's Mid America Truck Show. Always a good time. Catch me. Uh, yeah, all right. Catch me when you catch me. All right, Boston Trucker. Peace and Grease. See ya. I probably already said that. Let's go home. Let's do it. We're gonna do it to it like Sunny Pruitt. <laughs>